All right, are you reselling on multiple platforms? If you're not, you should be. You're losing out on a lot of profit, a lot of visibility, and overall growing your business. Okay, if you're a one-dimensional seller, what happens if that product doesn't sell on the platform that you're selling on? If you only sell on Amazon and the product doesn't sell on Amazon, what do you do? If it becomes excess inventory or a slow moving product on Amazon, which I do this because I don't believe in that. I believe it's just a computer generated you know, thing, uh, especially for the products that we sell, that slaps a label on an item and says, I don't think that's good. Okay, We take products all the time that are slower moving sellers and turn them on other platforms outside of Amazon and crush the market. And I'm going to show you a few things that you should be doing and why you should be doing it to help crush your uh, sales on outside platforms outside of just Amazon or just Poshmark or just Macari or just eBay. Okay, or if you're only doing an offline retail store, you got to get online. All right, so reselling on multiple platforms helps one increase sales in overall profits. All right, obviously, obviously, if you have more than one store, you're going to make more money. Not all the time, okay? I'll, I'll go back to, uh, to when we had three retail stores. When we had three offline retail stores, I wasn't making more money. I was actually losing money, but it's because I wasn't doing what's, what was required to make those stores win. Now, though, that I have multiple online retail stores, less overall overhead, okay, less work required to go into them to fill them up with products, then I'm making more money. So it's all about how you do it the smart way. You can't just have more stores and make more money. But if you increase your sales on multiple platforms, such as Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, then you're going to see an increase in sales and an increase in overall profit. Okay, so second thing, increase your online presence. Right? Obviously, if you're seen in more than one area, people are going to know who you were. I saw a video earlier today where a guy was going in and, and talking bad about Gary V on TikTok. And he was like, Gary V only talks about reselling and flipping here on TikTok. I'm like, man, this guy, he doesn't even know who Gary V is. You know, like he, he, like he just doesn't know who this guy is. He's only seen him on TikTok. He's never seen him on Instagram on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube. TikTok is the only place that he's seen. So he has that one perception, and perception is reality, but that one perception of who Gary V is. Okay, so you're gonna, you need to increase your online presence by selling on multiple platforms. When we started selling on Poshmark and Macari, not just Amazon, and our, our retail store um, outside of Amazon, it took our business to the next level. We were seen by more people. We were able to send people links Tell them go shop our online retail store. Shop on our Shopify website. Okay, check out our retail store if you're here local. Come in. You know, Poshmark and Macari are great, but you have to have more than that. Not only that, we have Amazon too. Okay, it increases our online presence. We're able to build a brand around that. We're able to sell products multiple times a day with these platforms sending their own traffic. See, that's the other great thing. These platforms are sending their own traffic. Besides Shopify, obviously you have to send your own traffic to Shopify. But on Amazon or Poshmark or Mercari or eBay, even Facebook Marketplace, their traffic is just being pushed to it. Okay, So why not take advantage of those? It's just like being on social media. If you want your business to grow, put yourself wider on social media platforms. I guarantee you'll get seen by more people. Three, uh, turn inventory that may be slow. Let me explain this. I've had products that Amazon deems as slow, that I recall them, list them on the Poshmark at a higher price and sell them higher than when they were listed on Amazon for a slow moving product or a slow moving item. Okay, Some platforms sell differently than others, just like Macari is different than Poshmark, Poshmark is different than Amazon, Amazon is different than eBay, eBay is different than Shopify. All these platforms are different and you have to know who, who your customer is the target audience that you're appealing to, how much are they willing to pay, what type of products are they looking for, you know, what's being pushed out to the marketplace and what does the marketplace want. Well, if Poshmark, the marketplace on there, wants what I have on Amazon, I'm going to recall that out of Amazon and sell it on Poshmark. Okay? That happens a lot when we're selling on Amazon. We get items that are deemed as slow and I'll just move them to another platform and sell them on another platform. Sometimes higher, sometimes a little bit lower, 
But if, even if they're lower, a lot of times they'll sell quicker or right there inside of my retail store behind us. Okay, I'm not just depending on online sales. I depend on an actual customer base that sees me face to face that will come in and shop and sees my staff face to face, knows where our building's at, is willing to come in and talk with us and shake hands. Okay, These are the types of things that you've got to be doing and going out there and finding more than one platform to sell on. Okay, And then four... Your business grows naturally. By being on multiple platforms, your business is naturally going to grow. It has no choice to. Like I said, uh, I talk, a couple videos ago I talked about you know, who's going to make more money, Walmart or um, the dollar store. Okay? Now, in the grand scheme of things, both of those companies are making millions upon millions upon millions of dollars because they have platforms, which are their stores, scattered all across the land, all across the United States. You've got to do the same thing. Walmart's got a huge online presence. Okay, so you've got to have an online presence, and at some point, you've got to think about having an offline presence, whether it's an offline retail store, a garage sale at your house, a flea market that you go to, something to get foot traffic in the door. Okay, this is all part of growing a retail business. No matter what type of retail business it is, all the way across the board, you've got to be on multiple platforms in today's day and age with online social media presence and online platforms the way they are the way that people can go buy with ease online you have to make sure that you're covering all bases online all right if you have any more questions let me know go to our website if you need inventory for these multiple platforms www.wholesaleuniversepage.com if you have any questions for us reach out to us at any time we'll get them answered y'all have a great day